Welcome to week one of the Franken Scrap Crochet Along. I'm so excited to be getting started. It's felt like forever since I made this and been able to get it out to you. But this week we're going to start with the rug stitch. So this is a single crochet based stitch and I'll be honest it works up rather slowly but I think the texture is well worth it. It's quite a stretchy stitch and I think I just love the, love the feel of it. So in starting our piece, we're going to be making a foundation chain of 37. And two. Okay, so insert your hook into that second chain. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through the first loop only. Okay, so you're gonna have two chains on your hook. Now into the same stitch that you're just working into, insert your hook again, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then you're going to slip stitch through the two loops. So not this one, you're going to pull your hook through this loop and this loop, and that is a slip stitch. So you want to try and keep your tension a bit loose, because otherwise it's going to make very difficult to make that slip stitch. Now it's going to make a bump on the back. So the front of the stitch will look smooth, the back will start forming bumps and that's the way it's supposed to look. So let's go do that again. So in the next stitch, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first loop only. So you have two loops on your hook. Insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and now go to slip stitch through these two loops on your hook. There we go. The bump is forming on the back again. And this is all you do for every stitch across. Insert your hook into the next stitch, Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first loop on your hook. Okay, so now you have two loops on your hook. Insert your hook back into the same stitch we're just walking into. Yarn over, pull up a loop. And now slip stitch through the other two loops on your hook. So this is a very, very dense stitch. And you can tell by how many loops are up here. So one more time, over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first loop only, then insert your hook back into that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, now slip stitch through the last two loops on your hook. Okay, so all the texture will be on the back of the stitch. And you do that all the way across the row. To get these lovely bumps. Oops. And then when you get to the end of your row, you will turn and then we'll start working into first row. Once you get into the rim of the stitch it becomes much much easier. Okay, So this is what the back of the stitch looks like and all these bumps will form that lovely texture. So you turn, chain one and then you start your rug stitches on this side and you're working through the top two loops and you're repeating the stitch. So because the texture is only on the back, the texture is on alternating rows and it makes the stitch very stretchy. And that is all there is to the rug stitch. The chunkier the yarn, 
the more pronounced that texture is going to be, the thicker it's going to turn out. And even with thin yarn, this is a very, very thick stitch. And the bumps are coming out on the back again. And that's the rug stitch. You're going to continue making your rug stitch rows, same repeat, until you have 39 rows. And once you've finished, you can cut off and weave in your ends. We won't be joining anything this week and there's no border to add onto these pieces. So you can put your piece away until next week's stitch. So I hope you enjoyed that stitch and I shall see you next week for the next stitch. Bye for now.